March's about a couple of weeks in and we're kind of at the perfect time of the month to pick something good on the go. I mean, the past couple of weeks has been a bliss for mobile gaming. Past few days had nothing short to offer either. In any case, here's 13 more to add to your collection of Android and iOS devices as well. At number one from roughly a few days ago, we've got over here an offline, said to be coming over with online and multiplayer components by the end of the month, a zombie top-down RPG shooter going by the name Ground Zero. This is a horde-based, like a mix of alien shooter and tower defense games, but even more innovative in nature in story, premise, gameplay, and in-game items. In any case, game's about 2 gigabytes in size and is free all the way. Coming up behind that with a 4.4 and over 100,000 downloads, sitting on the player's sofa for almost a month now, we have Dark Continent Miss, an MMORPG mobile exclusive available in English here, finally, since a few days ago with some of the best graphics coming from an indie developer. Dark Continent not only is quite fine-tuned in server and replay, the gameplay and combat system is good enough to be considered as a console game quality, in any case, it's free and takes you down about a gigabyte in storage. Sitting on the Play Store with over a thousand purchases in less than three days, we've got here Settlement Survival, awarded by the Google Play itself as the number one sold sim game for the past month. This is a strategy quite inspired by PC game The Banished that's just ported to mobile. Settlement Survival's sitting on all platforms as of today and takes you down for six dollars and about six hundred megabytes in storage. Playable offline, and this is how it works. The Legend of Tian Ding, on the other hand, one of the probably underrated side-scrolling action games of all time. Go, well, just in case you're new, based on the idea of a Taiwanese Robin Hood. Well, a PC game formerly, which is now finally available on the App Store. Coming over to the Google Play later in the month, in case you were new to it, this is a action fighting game set in 1900s in Japan, and this is legit how the gameplay is. Take a look in case you missed it. Coming from the same developers of Card Thief, or well, sitting on the place with over a million downloads, uh, same folks, we've got over here the company's newest work going by Card Crawl Adventure. Well, technically the same game, but built a little different in characters, touted as a solitaire style roguelike deck building card game. This is a single player game in its current state, but said to be having multiplayer soon. Card Crawl's been around for almost a year now, but it just got its first official huge patch. So the game is literally just fine-tuned to perfection now. Number six, it is Medieval Kingdom, Castle MMO. This is a strategy MMO base building, almost a choice driven. Medieval Kingdoms actually come from the same team who brought Lords and Knights Medieval MMO, a game that's downloaded almost 10 million times since a couple of years ago. The new game over here, however, is downloaded just 500 times only. It's playable only online, takes you down about 230 megabytes in storage, and it's actually a free game, so. 
At number 7, from a month ago, I mean, I don't really know what's the deal with the rush of new idle RPG One Piece based games ever since last month, although some of them actually been taken down from the Google Play. We've got over here Final Island that's sitting on store with 10,000 downloads and a 4.5 as a PvP game with adventure elements in nature. Here, if you like idle games, you probably couldn't go too far with this one, you couldn't go wrong with it either. It's generous, huge in content, has a good server and takes down about 400 megabytes only. Available on the Google Play through its pre-registration states, with about 100,000 players signed already. As an online game in nature, but PvP VE, we have Drift Car X Racing, uh, which is not a sequel or an entry from the same folks of Car X games, but coming from another studio whose specialty is in just games like Candy Crush. So you guys, Drift Car X here is a action top-down racing, takes you about 250 megabytes in storage, and it's quite smooth in gameplay as it is in its States. The sea contains every story. Voyages to seek new continents. Coming from the same people who brought us on the Simba, that is actually in partnership with Quay Tecmo, Uncharted Waters origin over here sitting on the place so with a 3.5 and now 3 out of 5, over 50,000, almost 100,000 downloads as of last week. It is actually considered as one of the buggiest slash greediest open world strategy games of all time on the Play Store, so I wouldn't really recommend going for it except you're really ready to throw in some money. In which case, well, the game is kind of fun. From dreams that you wanted to achieve to places you wish to go. Venture out into the vast oceans. Uncharted Waters Origin. Play free now. Number 10, it is Munchkin. Ranked as the number two top selling card game of the year on the Play Store with over a thousand downloads in less than 24 hours, coming from the same developers of Eternal Card Game, another card battling PvPvE online game that came out in 2020. Munchkin here, however, is a PC to mobile port with crossplay support. I mean, both versions actually came out on the same day. Takes you down about $10 though. It's smooth, it's basic, you probably could use a little bit of a discount. So. Downloaded about a hundred times, that is a lousy hundred times only on the Play Store. I mean, it's so underrated, it actually ain't even rated for replay. We've got over here the first work of its developers, Raiders Rumble, which is a one versus one squad battling fast paced strategy, not a squad based, but a team battler in nature. Raiders Rumble is an online game in nature, it's free, taking you down about 300 megabytes in storage, and has actually gotten an update today to get rid of its bugs. If you like tower defense games, just a quick mention over here, there is a horror themed tower defense strategy survival mobile exclusive here going by the name Haunted Room Survivor. Nothing much to talk about except the concept of being a time sensitive game and that tower defense with scary components is just a nick and a head above other tower defense games, at least in innovation. This game is, I've heard, is playable offline, I haven't tried it, it takes you down about 70 megabytes in size and it's actually free. And last but not least, coming as a first work of its developer with a 3.8 out of 5 and over a thousand downloads since only last night, the latest game that have been released in the list over here, we've got here a idle sim of Three Kingdoms game in nature called Three Kingdoms Taoism. An online game here, it's taking down about 500 megabytes in storage, not in English though, it's in Korean, but manageable if you like what you see about the gameplay because it's a little different than just an idle game. It's free, quite smooth in gameplay.